Hey there guys, so my next book I've got is The Rainbow Fish, written by Marcus Fister. Because, you know, it would not be a kinderg proper kindergarten class if I did not read this book to y'all. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, look how pretty the little rainbow fish is. Isn't that a pretty fish? The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. It is one beautiful fish, isn't it? The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. That's kind of rude of him, isn't it? To ignore them like that. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with, rain with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Hmm. That poor little blue fish, huh? Rainbow fish was so mean to him. No wonder all of his friends didn't want anything to do with them, right? What were the what what good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone, why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find a wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Hmm. What do you think the wise octopus is going to say to him, guys? Hmm. I'm very curious to find out. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in, in, the, in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Oh, 
I have been waiting for you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glimmer, glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say. But the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never. How can I be happy without them? Hmm. How could he be happy without his scales? That is a good question. Let's see and find out. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. There, the little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you! Thank you very much! The little fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale among his blue ones. A rather particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new glittering, with his new scale glittering in the water. That was really kind of the rainbow fish, wasn't it? The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his, with his scale flashing. So it wouldn't, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled Filled with glimmering scales, at last he felt at home among the other fish. Wow, so sharing just that one little scale and him then which led to him sharing all all his other scales or almost all of his other scales started to make him feel um, feel like he was a part of the game right started to make him feel welcome finally the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and, and happy as a splash, 
he swam off to join his friends. And that's the end of the story. And look, remember in the beginning how he had all of his scales and now he's just got the one? So isn't that so cool how the magic of sharing can make you the most um, welcome person or make you feel so good inside to share like that? I really like that book. It's a story that I grew up reading for certain. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed that story. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I send my love to y'all. Remember my class rules. Love yourself and love others. Bye-bye.